war dog now. Chicken. You have to try some chicken. Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. Wow. You or you can do the house burger. You must read my mind. I was taking my <laughs> chicken. What do you mean, chicken man? You're supposed to be on a diet, aren't you? I mean, we've talked about this. We consulted with your wife and your physicians, and they said that you need to be on a diet. He's gonna have uh, a piece of lettuce and an olive. <laughs> This could be a difficult case. I need to make sure that you're on these guys' rear ends, like white on rice, because this is a 110-pound Rottweiler, man. This is no joke. Get them involved and make them feel like they're part of the pack with the dog. This will make the dog comfortable, and I think it's going to work. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, this is a dangerous case. This is nothing to play around with. We got a 110-pound Rottweiler from what I understand, likes to eat everybody who comes through the door, okay? A lot of our cases are gonna be easy, but this one I can guarantee you is not gonna be easy. So I want you to stay behind me. I want you to listen to everything that Eric says, and I want you to listen to everything that Danielle says. Okay, Alicia, you're gonna be doing the grooming at the end. Eric, you're number two. I want you to make sure that everybody's behind me because this is a safety issue. No problem. Brandon, I'm mentoring you, so you're gonna to have to stay close, watch me, and just do what I tell you to do. And if I get hurt, if I get bit, we can't stop. I'm probably gonna control the dog with one arm. I'm gonna stick my other arm out. I want you guys to wrap it up, stop the bleeding, so we can get right back into the groove, okay? No problem. All right. Possibly a dangerous case. Uh, major thing that we want to do is we want to be able to cut the nails of the Rottweiler. Uh, the owner was really having a difficult time. So our goal is to go in, impress everyone, get the dog under control, under pack leadership, and then the last thing that we're going to do is cut the nails. And as you can see, another beautiful Michigan day. So oh, hey Chuck, so how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You ready for the game? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very ready. I think we're we're gonna be great today. Now, hey guys, so the main thing, all your energy has to be calm. You can't get excited. The dog's gonna feed off of that. This case sounds pretty dangerous. I mean, I just hope we don't get killed out there. Absolutely, it is gonna be very dangerous. 110 pound Rottweiler. Yeah. I, we had Roddy's when I was growing up. I'm sure he's just a baby. Chuck's yeah. just overplaying. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You look like you were having a little bit of trouble there. That seems back too far. I'm six foot tall, man. I want everybody with a racket on this text. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise and honor and glory and power and might. We thank you for being the Lord of Lords and the Kings of Kings. We praise you for being the comforter, the guider, and the teacher. Father, we ask that Christ be manifested here on earth as he is in heaven. And we command all these things done that we're safe. I want you to come on in, bring the dog. I want him on the leash. Yeah. And I want you to, to go ahead and bring him up the muzzle on. Yeah, put the muzzle on. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
follow through. that I'm noticing right off the bat is your energy is all over the place. Relax. Your energy is going to go through your body to the dog. Okay? And he does need rehabilitation. He needs you. He needs you. He's walking around in a state of fear. So we have to give him something called confidence. And it's going to start off with the energy coming from the body. Good. He has to understand that human goes out first. He's actually scared to go through the doorway. We have to teach him how to go off, out the doorway. He's scared of a shovel. He's scared to go out the doorway. He's scared to view people. Shh. Good job. Good job. Now, did you see the second time that he went out? He went out much better, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make him go right back in and come out calmly. And we're going to take him right back. Notice that he doesn't want to come in, but I'm not forcing him. I want him to take the move forward. I want him to move forward on his own. If I make him do it, that's not giving him confidence to do it himself. I want him to understand that when he goes through this doorway, that it's not going to hurt him. So I'm going to release the tension a little bit. And then I'm going to ask him to move forward. Shh. Good job. Good job. Shh. Shh. Okay, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to have Alex come back in here. And I want you to do the same thing with your dog. Gentle. Walk out. Give your dog a double pat. Turn your dog around and walk him through the door. Walk him through the door. This is your dog now. This is your dog. And roll him right back in. And make sure that you give him a double pat when he comes out the door. Roll him right back in. And when he go back in, give him, no, come back out. He went before you, you should have corrected. Right back. Take him right back. Now, why did he do that? Why did he do that? To protect me. Your energy. Oh, I thought I'm coming down. Energy. <laughs> if, your, if your energy is calm, his energy is going to be calm. His energy is all over the place, isn't it? Yeah. Take a deep breath. If, if we're so worried about the dog that we become anxious, then the dog becomes anxious. That's what we want to get rid of. We want to get rid of the, the skittish behavior. Good. Now, do not let him walk out that door before you. Excellent. <laughs> correct. Correct him and correct him. Correct. Now, relax. Just like that. 
a quick, a quick. <laughs> there we go. Every time he's been looking <laughs> at someone, correct. Right. Relax. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a massage <laughs> so you relax. Good. Now, your energy was all over the place when you did that because you just yanked the dog instead of simply going, shh, do it again. Shh, shh. There you go. Huh. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Chew it. There you go. You're telling him don't worry about the loud noises. Don't worry about the vacuum because he's going to sit in front of the vacuum and not make a noise. We're gonna show him that the vacuum is nothing to be afraid of. And when we show him that the vacuum is nothing to be afraid of, then we're gonna cut his nails. I saw that, get that look, get that look. I've been talking about you since yesterday, am I correct? Oh, yeah. What did I say? We're gonna get those nails cut. Yep. We're gonna do a great job and the dog's gonna be real calm. Okay. Go ahead, in and out. All right, what we're doing is desensitizing the dog. This whole case is insecurity. So bring him, bring him back on out. Okay, grab the lead, Danielle. Walk him in, right? Don't even think about it, just do it. Don't even think about it, just do it. Bring him out, you're slowing down, bring him out. Don't stop the process, in and out, in and out, in and out. Stop, keep moving. Calm down. There's no way that the dog can bite you. We've got a muzzle on. I don't think that he would bite if he had the muzzle off, to be honest with you. Okay, so he had to be taken down for that, okay? So I want you to come over here. Grab the hand. Uh-uh, you move back. Here we go. Yeah, grab the leg. Okay. Hey. There. Right there. So start to rub. Calm down. Okay, move out. Nope. No, not you. I want you here. I want you to take this over. Okay. Anytime he does that. You're gonna have to take them down if you can, okay? Okay. Relax. And let's just go. Let's go on. All right, everybody else, go on in. I need a rest. What about you? <laughs> okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the vacuum exercise. Uh, I understand that the dog is uh, not so good with the vacuum. However, we have already worked with the dog outside, correct? So we're gonna see what happens now when we turn the vacuum on and off only. On and off, real quick, go ahead. Okay. Correct, every time he looks. Go ahead, on and off. There. Now leave it on. He's moving into you. Stand up and move him over there. Right there. Make him sit. Put the vacuum right here. Turn it on and correct. Like this. Watch me. 
Look at me. Wow. Stop. Give them a double pat. Two pats only. Correct. Two per second. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Keep on. Two per second. Don't stop. There we go. Give your dog a double pat and repeat the process. Your vacuum problem is soft. For grooming, any any client that comes in and they say, oh, you know, another groomer, the vet said that we should sedate them or, you know, give them a, a tramadol or a tranquilizer. Absolutely not, because some dogs, if they have that fight in them, feeling weird, they will explode. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay the, the veterinarian $60 to just, I'm not gonna pay the veterinarian $60 to sit. The word is sedate. I thought it was zit zit zit. Knock it off. Go ahead, grab the top. Don't even react to that. Go ahead. Hey, knock it off. Go ahead. Grab the top. Okay, relax. Grab the paw again. Go ahead, grab the paw. Grab the paw. Do it again, grab the paw. Yes. You didn't growl, right? I want to lift that paw up a little bit. Just lift, lift it up, up a little bit. Good job. Good job. Good job, Barry. Good job. Yes. That's what we want. This is a situation where they said the dog could never get its nails cut. So we have to think outside the box. We've got a harness to raise the dog, okay? Okay. Sound good. Okay. Okay. Right. okay, so now we're gonna, is his leg in there, right? We don't have to get him too high. No, is we don't. Is his leg high? There we go. Got it? Go ahead. Shh, shh. Stop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to control the head a little bit more right here. Okay. Go ahead. I want one nail. Okay. Okay. Real quick. Just touch. Go to the next one. Good boy. Okay, stop. Go ahead, dude. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Good job. Good boy, dude. Good job. Good Notice boy. that I'm getting the pleasure center back here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. He's anxious. Did one, right? I did one here. Hey, we did both knock feet. it off. We did both back feet. Okay. What I'm going to do is he's looking this way, so I'm going to turn his head this way. Notice I'm giving sound correction. Okay, relax. So good. Good job. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing Notice it. Notice that I'm controlling the head. Yeah. Okay. Try it again. I gotta get this foot. There we go. We're, we're taking a lot of time doing that. I just want you to touch each nail and move. Yep. Well, he's very, very, very. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Relax. Relax. Okay, hoist him down a little bit. Let him down off the hoist. 
down. Just so the key is, so is to have him go yeah. through this process without yeah. all this. So yeah. we're going to do it again, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh. Hold, control the head. Okay, watch his back nails. Control yeah, that's head. what he. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. One of us gotta control the back. Once he does that, back, actually. Okay, let's start. Uh, move back. Move back. You ready? You hear it? See what good, I'm doing? Good. Good. Ah, ah, ah. That anticipation. I'm holding the head so I can't move. Good boy. Good boy. Look at it. Good boy. It's okay. Oh, oh watch yourself. Sorry. It's okay. Put a coat on you. What do you think? It's okay. Just it's let okay. it go. Look, I'm just touching the foot. Just touching. Just touching. Right. See? We're gonna do this foot. We're gonna touch. We're gonna do this foot. Good! Good job! Good Look job! That. That's what we want. Good boy! Good job! Good job! Good boy! We're we doing it! Good job! Good! Good job! Look at Good that! Good job! Tell me when you're done. I was just actually going and doing them now. He's letting me. Good. There we go. Look at that. Good job. Big boy Baron. Good job. Look Good at job. you. You're doing it. Good job, Baron. Good job. Good boy. Okay, roll, let him down. All the way down? Yeah. He did that foot. Come on, Baron. One more time. Here. Good job. Now notice that the difference between when I got the dog and seemingly he's just a little bit more calm. Okay, you see what I'm doing, Alex? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, one more and that's it. Good. All right. All right. Let him down. Let him down? Yep. Good job. Good job. Yes. All right. So, right. So do your thing. It's very important on this last one that we make just a minimal contact and then go to the next one. Okay, good job. Good job. That's it. Okay, now go to the next, the back call. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. That's success. When they told me that you couldn't cut your dog's nail, I told you that I didn't believe them. I told you that we were going to do it because we have to save this dog's life. Uh, now let him down. Job, the did. process was quick. The process was easy. Yep. And good job. Good job, buddy. Right, good boy. job. All the way down. Right, now take the whole harness off and everything. And he knows he's over with. He did a good job. And now he can just relax. Good job, Good buddy. job. Good he's happy about it, too. He has. Okay. He's oh, proud. okay. He knows yes, he he's did proud. It. He knows yes, he he's did. proud. You sure? He sure is proud. Mm -hmm. Because he performed for his pack. So he's going to look to us as pack members. I'm not seeing any insecurity right now. Now you're being playful? You can go say hi to people. You can go say hi. What the hell did I wake up to this morning? That's actually Alex usually, which is funny with his negative energy, you would think. But anytime we're anywhere, dogs yeah. will come up to him. He really is. He says, I really am a sweet dog. He says, pet me, pet me, pet me. He's good job. Yes. You did good today. Give me a kiss. Yes. You did good. And Chuck is the one that uh, is teaching us how to, how to handle it. And, you know, hands on. It's just so important. It is. Big Chuck's the man. Big Chuck's the man? Hey, you're the man. You're the man. You know what? Everyone always tells me that, that I'm the man, that I'm, that I'm good. I'm I'm the greatest thing, thing since buttered bread. And you know what I tell them every time? You're exactly right. That's what I tell them. <laughs>